All right, guys, it is day 15 of a couponer's guide to gifting. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series for the holiday season. We are halfway through, and when I say we, I mean myself and Gina Schweppe here on YouTube. So definitely head to our channel, subscribe, and grab all of the days of gifting ideas that she has already given, and we still have 15 more to go. So definitely lots of ideas to come. So one of my very favorite gifting ways is jars. Jars are so amazing because you can fill them with anything. You can fill them with little treats like candies and cookies, anything that's wrapped that you wanna go ahead and throw in. You can put in one thing that I love to make jar gifts for is all of our couponing deals that we've been getting. So it's good because a lot of the smaller items like the lipsticks and the eyeshadows can easily fit into a small container and just make a really great gift. Plus they make awesome last minute gifts. So if you're going through your gifting schedule at last minute, you realize like, oh my gosh, I forgot to give someone something or I wanna give them something. What can I give them that's not gonna cost much? You can do a jar gift for sure. All right, so here I have one of my favorite jars this season. It is from Target. It's from the Dollar Spot. Now, it was $3. I love this jar because it's not a huge jar. It's an awesome jar to reuse. It has a little detail, so it looks nice as far as gifting. Um, but it also has a little bit of height. So if you want to put in things like mascaras or other items, it gives you that option. And... The lid size here, you can see it's open wide enough where you can put some bigger items in and not have a hard time getting them in or getting them out. Okay, so I love a cozy pair of Christmas socks. These are really cute with the reindeer. These are from Target Dollar Spot and these are a dollar. So what I like to do is just take the socks and just roll them in there. These are going to kind of be like the outline, having the face just kind of hang out there. It's a different item other than all of the makeup. Next, what I like to do is just put some other items around the outside, showing the product like that. Here we have a Revlon, which we got a ton of these this year. So I'm going to go ahead and place that like that. Um, different size items, different colors. Um, and what I like to do too you know, we got a lot of gift sets this year and we're probably going to get more. You can definitely break them up. One of them is the LA Colors gift set. These had all these little nail polishes just to stick a couple in here and not overwhelm them with a whole bunch of um, nail polish. So here we have an eyeshadow palette. We're just gonna stick that in there. Here we have a Wet n Wild brow pencil. And this is pretty tall, so I'm not sure Hopefully that should fit in there. We have a couple of NYX lip glosses. Try and get the label of the brand if you can. Um, it just, oh, <laughs> put it all up there. It just looks a little bit better when you can actually see the brand. And then I'm gonna put one over here. And then at the top over here, I'm just gonna put some of those little um, mini LA Girl nail polishes. You know what it is, it's that Revlon. Um, lip balm there that's kind of in the way and boom you have an easy cute handmade gift now what i'm going to do is i'm not a huge fan of over stuffing um these little paper shreds in there but i am going to just put a couple and actually i'm going to make sure always make sure that your jar is going to close or at least almost close and this is good enough so you can see all of the goodies, how cute it looks, but we're gonna put a couple of the paper shreds in here and I'm just gonna put it in now. I'm not gonna worry about putting any in at the bottom and try and get some like on the sides a little bit. Although this is pretty well packed. We got a lot of stuff in here. These, like if you have for teachers, you could do stationary items. You could make a jar with school supplies um, for the teacher um, that they could use at their desk. You could make um, like a stationary gift too with like pens or maybe a planner type jar. Um, any kind of jar with like food items, treats and things like that always come out really cute too. So that's about it. I'm not going to like overload it because I'm not 
really into it and you can always you know place some more or fill it fill in more as you're going along with your project okay so next what i'm gonna do you guys know i love the ornaments and just draping them around baskets and gifts um so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna kind of overlap this so it kind of hangs like that rather than keeping it too long where it would hang like that and then i'm just going to use obviously look at how much ribbon i have left on this one always try and finish your holiday supplies before you open up something new um, or you'll be stuck with a whole bunch of open things and it will drive you crazy so this actually isn't going to be a ton but just for an example you guys can use a little bit of more ribbon so I'm just going to overlap it over so it lifts up the star so it hangs nice above the jar there or off of the table. And then I'm going to want to have this in front like this. So I'm going to put this through here. And again, I would have cut a larger piece of ribbon, but just for the purposes of this, I am going to go ahead and just tie in a little knot here if I can do this I can do this there we go and it kind of lifted it up it kind of fell back down for some reason but you can adjust it and have it lift up like that you can move it more toward the center and lift it or you could always just you know tie it in with your tie and you can see how it kind of lifted it up a little bit but a cute simple little gift um, that is not going to cost you a lot of money at all so a really cute and simple little gift that anyone is going to love. One tip too is send away for samples. Um, sample sizes are perfect to add into your gifting jar. So companies will often put, get a sample of this new product. You can go ahead and usually fill out a form online and then they mail it to you. Start keeping a little box where you keep samples. You'd be surprised how many you can accumulate. And I'm gonna try and do more of those on my channel because it's really a great way to get like body washes and just smaller size items that can fit into jars. And if you're on more of a budget and you're looking to spend a little bit less on jars, Dollar Tree has some really cute jar ideas. This one says Adventure Awaits. It's got a nice height to it for like mascara. Um, you can definitely fit plenty in there. It's a smaller size too. So if you're looking to give a smaller gift, um, this is a nice option. And then this is a really cute option for like a nail kit jar. Maybe you wanna put a couple of nail polishes. Um, Dollar Tree sells those really small little files. You could put a couple around the outer edges of it, um, a buffer, just a couple of different little items to make a cute and unique gift. So as always, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you tomorrow in a Couponer's Guide to Gifting. Take care.